Today is Friday the 19th of October and we're fishing Shore and Beach. Fishing shore and beach again today, um, just using some frozen baits. I'll show you what we've got. Going for a whole frozen horse mackerel. Um, I'm just going to chuck that in close in, just over by the box to my right. And then I'm just using frozen mackerel and a two hook flapper. I have just bought a floodlight. Ooh, so let's switch on. Just to try and make filming a bit easier. Gives off quite a bit, um, so hopefully that should um, give off quite a good camera now. Um, quite a cheap, cheap wire off Amazon, only eighteen pounds portable rechargeable. So I'm hoping it picks up a bit, a bit better on the camera, and I'm hoping to be able to use my GoPro in the dark as well. But we'll see. So yeah, my rod to the right, the one with the pinky red um, rod tip. This is the one with the horse mackerel in close in, just to my right over here. Um, don't know if you can see the rod tips, so I now switch them and expel them. But yeah, that's close in. And my other rods, I've cast out about 50 yards or so, just with the two hook flapper and just the frozen mackerel. Not really expecting too much, um, maybe some whiting. It's just more of a get out and fish when I can. I've just had a um, new baby daughter, so. Time's a bit difficult at the moment to get out, but yeah, I'm trying to make the most of when I can. Okay, I'm keep getting bites on my left hand rods. See that it's going to go off again. And you go do it for the camera, or a little rattle there. There you go. So I think I'm going to wind it in. It's probably a wise in. But yeah, I'll give it a wind in and see what it is. Okay, that's a nice little wheel there. Quite a live thing. I compare it to my foot. So it's probably just over 30 centimetres, probably getting on 40 centimetres. And that's just taken to the frozen mackerel. Okay, let's release the eel. Slimy little thing. We go to the ill spine. Should go in the next way. Gonna go. Guys. Okay, I just had to move the right hand rod um, with the big bait on just out a little bit further. There's coming quite a bit of weed close in, so it's just pinning the line down and it's catching in the waves. So, yeah, I've just moved it to position a bit. Still no bites, uh, no, no more bites on the left hand rods, but still going to hold out. Um, I expect there probably will be some whiting at some point. But it's still quite warm this time of year for some reason. Um, it's almost 20 degrees today and we'll get halfway through October, so yeah, it's a bit unusual. But who knows, we'll come on fishing and see what we get. It's just switched high tide now. I haven't had any more bites at all. 
nothing on the left hand side rods. So I've just cast it out um, as far as I can really. I'm um, hoping just to find some fish. I probably fish for about another hour or so. So yeah, hopefully something comes along and takes from my bait. I've just had a nice pull down on my left hand side rods. I don't know what it was, it was quite a feisty bite. See if it's going to go off again. But, not too sure, it looks quite vicious, so it looks too vicious to be a white or anything like that. So I don't know, might give it a wind in and see if there's anything on the end. Okay, um, yeah, this was on the end, a really nice sized white, and it's quite unusual for a vamp here. You see, size my foot. Might even give it a quick weigh and a measure and just see how big it is because it's quite a big size around here. Okay, as you can see, it's quite a big white and 38 centimetres or so. It's worth about a pound and a half, quite a fat old thing. So, yeah, you don't normally get them that size around here. But this one's going to go back, so I'll give it a nice release. Okay, let's give this white in a release. Off it goes. Let's go swim. Okay, I'm going to keep checking on that white and see if it goes off. If not, I'll try and get it back and I'll take it home and make a meal out of it. Yeah, I'm really, imp uh, really impressed with that white and that's probably a PB for me. Um, yeah, like I said, you don't normally get them that size around here, and normally up to about 30 centimetres, uh, centimetres or so, and smaller. So yeah, that's quite a good size one. I thought I'd just show you um, this torch I bought as well, just for the Amazon jewelry. It is, um, I'm quite impressed with it really. It's a 20 watt LED, and it's, I think it's 4 hours of charge and 4 hours worth of light. Um, it's quite bright, I'll show you. I'll show you a second just how bright it is. So yeah, that's put my head torch off now. Doesn't really do much justice on the camera, but yeah, it lights up pretty well. I know a lot of bass fishermen and normal fishermen don't really like bright torches and it's probably not the best, but I bought it just for filming. So if you like um, filming and stuff, this might be a way forward for you. So if you're interested in getting one of these torches, I'll put the link down below in the video. Um, I got it off Amazon. Yeah, like I said, I think it was about £18, so not a bad deal really. Okay, I just had some bites on the left hand rod again. This one definitely looks like a little whitened bite. Just short, quick little rattles. I'll show you the size of the white and it stays on there. Um, what we normally catch around here. But, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a whiten. Okay, I was wrong, but as another little wheel. It could even be the same one I caught earlier. It looks the same sort of size. Looks like I might have even foul hooked it. Yep, just behind the mouth. So I'm going to unhook this and chuck it back. Okay, I'm just going to return this um, eel. Let's go. Get a bit of water. I'm going to chuck it in. in the wrong way but yep there it goes back out off it goes that's me done now not a bad little session really um two wheels and probably a pb whiten um i'm on dad duties tonight so i've got three gals now under five and under so quite busy quite difficult to get out at times but i'm not too sure when i'm next going to be out but i'm thinking of doing a lure session because the water's quite calm and flat at the moment so if I can get out pretty soon, I, I will do. Um, if you're interested in the little portable rechargeable torch down there, I'll post the link up below. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. See you soon. Bye.